All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, and I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing again, pushing his work in truth and necessarily. Okay. I'm going to go on, on this video about, you know, constantly enduring. Okay. Um, this is a scripture, you know. Uh, or chapter, you know, a lot of people are familiar with, but if we have to go go over it again and again, you know, every now and then, you know, just to uh, keep on the path, okay? But um, I'm going to start off with the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus 2 and 1, and it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, okay? You got the word temptation, Okay, and it means the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Okay, so in this truth, we're going to be tempted. Okay, um, you have to be prepared for it. Okay, it's always going to be there, man. That temptation is always going to be there. Okay, it says, uh, set your heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Okay, now, a lot of people, you know, tend to forget that, you know, you got to you gotta continue to, to remain in this thing. Now, every now and then, uh, you know, it may slip our mind. You may get caught up in the moment, you know. It may be, uh, you know, something because we still are in the flesh, you know. Uh, the scripture says that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay. So it says, cleave onto him and depart not away. Okay. And two of the major ways of, of doing that is prayer, prayer and fasting. Okay. Praying to the Lord and fasting. Okay. It says that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Okay. And you will you want because the things things that we go through are going to get much, much more rough, man. Okay? They're going to get harder. Okay. That's that's one of the things that we're gonna to have to go through and and you know, Yahawasa, he went through it, okay. When he went through, um, uh, you know, praying to the Lord, it said that the, that the Lord, you know, sent the angel to strengthen him. Okay. And the the more we get closer to the very end, okay, the tail end of this thing, okay, things are gonna, you know, be heightened. Okay. Now we speak. You know, and say that, you know, as the scriptures say, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time, okay, and strength of salvation, okay? But there's going to be a lot of things that are along the way that are going to try to get you off course, okay? And uh, if you you aren't careful, you won't be increased as, you know, in, in your faith when this thing when these things go down. Okay, because you're going to be getting caught up out there. Okay, it says, uh, whatsoever is brought up, brought upon you, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Right. So we have to be. You guys, you know, a saying among brothers, you know, you should be worried whether, you know, if, if everything is good. Okay. If everything is good, you're not getting corrected, you're not getting rebuked or whatever. You should be worried, you know. But when you when you do go through certain things, you know, you should be happy that the Lord is dealing with you. You see, a lot of people, when they go through things and, and realize that they have to endure it, right? When you get that word endure, because the scriptures say that whoever endure until the end, you know, the same shall be saved. Right. It says 
suffer something painful or difficult patiently. Okay, patience is long suffering. Okay, so when you realize that you got you going through some, you know, hardships, right? It's it's you know for some people it's hard to see, you know, why why should I, you know, be cheerful about that, you know? Because the Lord is dealing with you. Getting those as the scriptures is gonna say, you know, getting those impurities out of us, okay? Is uh the scriptures in uh the next verse for for gold is tried in the fire, right? And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay? So if you want to be an acceptable man unto the Lord, you're gonna to have to go through the fire. You're gonna to have to go through adversity. Okay. Prayer and fasting and you know trying your best to make things right you know with the lord with the brothers is important okay but some people you know and, and who knows who who is of the elect or not you know some people forget about that you know they let it slip their mind and then and then just you could find yourself going back into the world okay just waiting to be destroyed you know, in this thing, you should be, you should realize that it ain't going, it ain't going meant to be easy. Okay. Um, we have a way out through, through the spirit, which is y'all by Shemi Osah, you know, but, um, it says, uh, believe in him and he will help thee. Right. Part of believing in him and getting yourself together is the prayer and the fasting. Okay. It says, order your way aright and trust in him. Right? It says, you that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest you fall. You that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. You that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did any, I mean, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You got the name. You got the name of the Lord. You got the name of the Most High and his son. Okay. See, it's different when you have a, 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 a person you know, a, a human, right, that, you know, you call on their name, you expect them to do certain things, you know, see a human, you know, might, you know, say, man, I'm tired of this person depending on me, you know, I'm tired of them, uh, you know, asking me, you know, for this and, you know, wanting me to do that, but the Lord don't do that, okay, <laughs> and you got all of these uh, people in the world, right these people don't care about the lord but here here he is you know here we are you know with his name and he want, he gave you his name for you to use it okay during the time of you know the adversity okay because when we talk about god god means power okay and he has the power to be able to get you throughout whatever you you may uh face Okay, so fearing the Lord, you're not gonna you're not gonna be forsaken. You're not gonna be forgotten. Okay, it says the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, and a lot of people, they you know they just look at you know, uh, yes, the Lord is the King of Terrors. Okay, yes, He should be feared, but there's also a balance with it too. Okay, because we serve a righteous God. Okay, and He wants you to to be as godly as possible. And if you come into this thing and you fall out, you wasting your time, not the Lord's. Okay, <laughs> the, 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 you wasting your time, not the Lord's. The Lord created you, and, and eventually you gonna get you gonna get right any, anyway. <laughs> you know, that's that's for sure. Okay. <clears throat> But the Lord has always been, you know, full of compassion, mercy, okay, long-suffering, very pitiful, 
okay, forgiving, you know, sins and saving the time of affliction. That's always been the case, okay? And <clears throat> this uh, scripture, which is in the Apocrypha, which is the Old, uh, is technically supposed to be in between the Old Testament and the New Testament, right, of the uh, Bible, okay? But this was, this was, uh, written during before Yahweh Shah came on the scene okay <clears throat> so they understood how the the Lord you know did things it says for the Lord is full of compassion okay my, my bad uh, it says woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands in the center that goes two ways okay woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believes not Therefore, shall he not be defended? Okay? It's always going to be something. It's always going to be something. And, and you know, and this, as long as this man is in power, Esau is in power, you know, we pray for it, for them to go down, okay, to be taken out, okay, of that, that, that power seat, okay? But as long as the, they're, they're ruling the world, it's always going to be something, okay? And and we want to be defended, okay, and saved ultimately, okay? Defense goes into save, okay? It says, woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Because, hey, you, you, you weren't able to take a correction, rebuke. You wasn't able to endure, right? What the heck you going to do when, when things get real? When the Lord visits you? Okay? Uh, a lot of guys can't can't understand that. Okay? You look at, you know, um, brothers, you know, as, you know, the carnal aspect. But it's really the Lord. It's really the most high. Okay? If a brother corrects you and stuff like that, see, a lot of guys would... Just look at it like, man, that's this this is this nigga, you know, trying to correct me. But it's really the Lord. Because the Lord is putting the spirit on brothers to say certain things. But people can't receive that because they too carnal. You know, they only see what, you know, their own two eyes, okay, rather than, you know, with the spirit. Okay? With being spiritual and realizing that, hey man, this is a man of the Lord or you know, these things that I'm going through, you know, it's meant to try to make me better. You know, let me go ahead and get through it. You know, whatever I got to go through because, hey, I trust in Yahweh Shemiosa. And I'm going to have patience and I'm going to wait for the Lord no matter what comes my way. Because the Lord always makes a way, okay, for you to escape, okay? But some, some guys, you know, they can't get that, you know? They want it on their time. You could be, you know, thinking that nothing is going to happen. Oh, man, the Lord ain't going to come. The Lord ain't going to protect me. The Lord ain't going to do, you know, defend me. Right? So I might as well just go ahead and get get do what I got to do today. But guess what? The Lord could come back uh, 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 a day from now. You know, what, what would you do? The Lord came back a, a a week from now. What would you do? A month from now? What would you do? You know, because he's he's definitely gonna come back. You know, but you you a lot of you people you want it right now. You know, and and not realizing that you you just gotta wait for it. No matter how long it takes, you gotta wait for the Lord to come, and 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 get you out of your situation, wherever it takes a, a week, a day, you know, a year or whatever. Okay. You know that the Lord is going, going to make sure that you're taken care of, okay? Even if you have to die for this thing, you know that you're going to be taken care of, man. So you have to constantly endure and trust in, in the Lord, okay, until the very end, okay? The Lord ain't going to have you like, oh, man, like I fooled you. You you, you, you were doing all that dumb shit. You know, you, you believed in me. <laughs> you shouldn't have believed in me. The Lord ain't gonna have you do you know doing that. He 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 wants you to believe in him so that he can show you how how, how powerful he is. Okay? 
And that's honorable unto the Lord because you you kept the faith until the very end and you constantly endured. Okay. So I'm gonna continue on. It says, They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways to the very end. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that love the fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord, not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. Okay? So, hey, we coming upon that time of the MOTB. Okay, the CHIP. Right, and a lot of people are going to fall into the hands of men, especially people who you know claim to be Israelites. You know, they're going to fear falling into the hands of men. You know, oh man, like if I don't take this, I'm gonna lose my job, I'm gonna lose my life, I'm gonna lose everything. You know, I'm gonna get persecuted. I don't know whether the Lord gonna come back or not. You know, that's what a lot of people are gonna be thinking. But if you fall into the Lord, the, the hands of the Lord, <laughs> fear not them that are able to kill the body and can't do nothing, you know, thereafter. But fear him who can kill the body and the soul in hell. Okay? So you got to fear the Lord, man, because the Lord will jack you the hell up, man, in, in this life and in the next, you know. <laughs> Being of the elect, the elect is going to be good, man, and, and, and taken care of, man. Okay? Now, all Israel is going to be taken care of, too, but you don't know how, you know, it's going to play out for you on the, in, the, in the kingdom, you know, if you're not of the elect, okay? With that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.